went live. <laughs> hey, y'all. Well, it's so interesting um, that I couldn't get it, get live to go on my, um, couldn't get it to go on my computer. It's just on Facebook. I've never had this trouble before, but something doesn't like it to do that. So it it's live on my uh, phone now. So, um, hey Camille. So I have the ability to bring y'all onto camera. So if anybody in the inner circle wants to come on, um, I just thought, well, let me just jump on here and see if there are any questions. So if you have any questions, you can chat, uh, write them, and I can see them. Hi, Nancy, good to see you. Hey, Wayne Johnson. Um, so I wanted to just tell you a little bit about my inner circle of small beginnings with Sarah and how God got me to do this. <laughs> Last summer, probably in August, I knew that God probably wanted me to start a type of a membership group to hang out together and pour into and and teach in and connect in and community. Um, and I thought it would probably start in October, but that definitely was not uh, when it was supposed to happen. So Kellen, in just a minute, I will bring you on because you are in the inner circle. So I'm just giving a little um, information to start with. So, um, hey, Jill. Um, so then I thought I would maybe start an, a membership group in January and that, again, it was flat. And of course, it was like probably the most stressful month of my life with Wayman, you know, uh, having his heart attack and passing. So, um, but then... In early April of this year, just last month, still we can say last month, um, I had a stirring from God to start an online Bible study using my book, um, Small Beginnings, A Journey to the Impossible. And so it's 10 chapters long. Hey, Cheryl. And I knew that I wasn't supposed to do it for 10 weeks. That would have been too long. But I definitely felt God tell me, that, um, you know, I hear him in my thoughts, uh, not an audible voice, and that I was to uh, do it on Mondays and Friday mornings at 9 a.m. And so it was so cool, y'all. Like, it was very, very amazing. And um, I had, at times, there were over 200 people that watched some of those videos. And actually, they're on my YouTube channel now if you wanted to go back and watch them. But, um so the week before it's over, I could feel in my spirit, like God telling me, what are you going to do? Like these people want to connect still. And I was like, is this the time to start an inner circle? Is this the time to start the membership? And I just felt like it was. I got confirmation from God and I wanted to read to you. Um, this was cool because again, y'all, I'm having doubts. Like, really God, do you want me to do this? Like, this is another small beginning. I never knew I would be doing this. And I felt like he gave me a lot of amazing confirmation. Um, so on the Monday before, when we're ending, which is... Um, well, we ended May 4th, so the Monday before that would have been, whatever, very end of April, is when God first told me to do this, and I, I mean, I'm obedient, but I still had so many doubts in my mind, like, why do you want me to do this, even though I knew it was a dream from last summer, like he'd already planted those seeds, right? So then what's cool is on Wednesday, which is very near the end of April, I heard, I, I'd not read Proverbs 31 in a while, and I ended up reading it, and, um, you know, it's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful prose about what seems to be like the perfect woman <laughs> who, uh, who just has it all together, and, um, you know, I hadn't, I hadn't read it in a, in a while, and so, I read it in the Passion Translation, and one verse, actually two verses, jump out at me as amazing confirmation of what I 
was supposed to be doing with the inner circle. And so um, it says, verse 13, I'm reading, this is Proverbs 31, verse 13 and 14. She, she searches out continually to possess that which is pure and righteous. She delights in the work of her hands. She gives out revelation truth to feed others. This is verse 14. And she is like a trading ship bringing divine supplies from the merchant. And so on this part, knowing that I do love to paint, I do love to write, like God is using my hands to bring forth, you know, I delight in that. It's just fun to create. And I know that that's how he made us. And so, um, and then it says she gives out revelation truth to feed others. And I felt like God told me, you are like, you, it's me that you are releasing to others and that you're like a trading ship bringing the divine supplies, the supplies from me, the secrets of who I am out to others. And so, um, yeah. And so I had confirmation. And so I moved forward with this inner circle. And so it's been open this month. And um, I think we have 22 members right now. And I'm praying that God would add um, eight more. I would love to have 30 as we end tomorrow night at midnight, but I know God is in charge of this and I'm not. And so I just trust him. And, um, I wanted to know if you had any questions about it. I see Deborah is on and I'm going to move back up to, let's see. I don't know if you're still watching Kellen. I'm going to bring you on the camera and let's see, because, oh, can't bring Kellen on the camera. Okay. Uh, let me try. Who else is in my group? Deborah, you're on. Let me see if I can bring you on. So it says you'll bring an invitation. I don't know. I thought I used to be able to do that. They'll receive an invite to join you. Okay. So I don't know why it's not doing that. I thought it would be. But um, if any of y'all have any questions, I, I will just tell you um, what I believe God is doing in this group is is doing more than than people could dream or imagine um what i'm noticing is like more answered prayer a greater connection to god um in the first week i taught on the five senses and how god speaks of his love to us through hearing um oh you can't invite live on facebook anymore kellen okay like it told me it had a little thing but <laughs> Oh, this Facebook is just, is just making me crazy right now, but it's okay. Um, used to, we could bring somebody up and I don't know, but that's changed. Uh, even though it still shows me a little sticker there that I could bring you up. Um, so I taught on the five senses and it's so cool. Um, about how God is awakening people in the group to even hear more. And so, um, yeah, it is good. Um, and so Barbara wrote me a testimony this morning about how she is deaf in her left ear, but she'd asked God to speak to her very loudly in her right ear. And so she was in a conversation this week, um, with someone and you can read this. I think I put it on my, um, I think I just put it on my stories. I don't know, somewhere. I just put it on my, one of my social medias, her, her story. But um, she said all of a sudden, very loudly in her right ear, she heard from God to be quiet and not to share something personal she was going to share. And so she was quiet and she felt so much at peace that she actually heard God and he was like protecting her to prevent her from speaking. And so that was new to her. And so you're like, well, how does that connect to creating? Y'all, God is constantly creating through us in relationships, in the way we cook, in the way we live, in the way we garden, in the way we interact with others. Um, it's just, we are letting him flow through us um, in beautiful ways. And so, hey, Tasha, good to see you. You're one of our latest members and you haven't been yet on a Monday me meeting. So, uh, so excited for you to be with us all the way from Illinois. That's where you're from. Illinois. 
<laughs> but you grew up in Junction, Texas, so we are close. Um, yeah, and Kellen just said, like, she's grown. Her intimacy with God has grown so much and her creativity. Y'all, it's so connected. Like, I know that when we are connecting, hey, Maggie, when we are connecting, when we are creating, like, we are in the secret place with him. We are in this place where we're in the shelter of his wings that he talks about in Psalm 91. Like, there's not a greater place that we could be I mean, he just tucks us in and he wraps around his love for us and he lets himself flow through us as we're creating. And so that creating can be with art. It can be with a paintbrush, with watercolor, with acrylic, with oil, with cold wax, with pen and ink, um, with just making Bible journaling. Uh, that's what Tasha does. Um, it also can be with gardening and planting. And y'all, I just want to walk over here to show you my friend Anne. Like, this is the coolest thing. So she's growing sunflowers in her new garden. And I'm here at her amazing house. Like, it's totally like out of a, uh, yeah, like out of a magazine. So let me just show you. Like, here is the house. You know, we've got the lake right here. A lot of boats out. This is like Travis. It's so beautiful. But look, she went to the garden this morning. And she picked sunflowers, and let me see. Yeah, look at this. Like, isn't that gorgeous? So she's got some of her other herbs there. So, I mean, this is creative right here. You know, this is her sunflowers, some, I don't know what that is. I want to say a, it's not a lantana and dill. And, um, yeah, isn't that just gorgeous? Like, that is is creating your space to welcome God in. And so in this inner circle, let me go back to that. Um, and I think Deborah is on too. Deborah, if you want to say anything, um, trying to see who else is on. But um, it, we are meeting. We meet on. Uh, it is beautiful. Oh, my word, yes. I'm like, yeah. I'm reaching, God's sitting with me a lot. Oh, no. Yeah, I, I we went for a walk early this morning. And uh, yes, sunflowers and jumped in the marina um, and got all wet. <laughs> um, so what I wanted to say is on Mondays is when we're meeting at 9 a.m., 9 to 1030 on a Zoom call. However, if there's enough people that need an evening meeting, and Tasha, I need you to tell me this. I know you're traveling some. I saw you're traveling to do some teaching at a Bible camp in June, uh, which is starts on Monday. <laughs> um, but I'm willing to do an evening, a Monday evening meeting, probably would be an hour because there'd be less people um, to do a teaching on Monday evening as well and connect with people for people that are working. Um, so that's definitely something that I want to offer. Um, but we do the, I do the teaching and then we interact and then our circle, our inner circle membership, like private Facebook group is on fire. Like people are giving testimonies, sharing encouragement. We're doing affirmations, um, and people are getting changed. Like, and, and I believe Ephesians 3.20 for it. Um, yeah, great, Kellen. I will absolutely do that. Um, I'm thinking six or seven. I don't know what time is better. So it would be central time. And maybe seven is central. That would be your eight because I think you're in Connecticut. So, um, yeah, sort of let me know what time would be best. And we'll do one hour in the evening. Um, so we're just connecting and really praying Thank you. Um, so either one, six or seven, I'll see what works for me best. Um, like either before dinner or after dinner. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I just believe God is bringing so much forth in, in, in this. It's like more than we could dream or imagine. Um, like, 
Uh, let's see, another lady, Julia, who lives in Washington, gave me a testimony. I can't remember it word for word, but it's just like such an intimate connection with God. And the deal is, like, she's already very connected to God. But y'all, he is wanting us to go for the more. And so this group is just for that, you know? And um, yeah, so anybody else have any questions? Let me know. Um, I know, Kellen, you're still on. You've already said that it's awesome. And Tasha, you leave for your rodeo Bible camp on June 7th. So maybe this uh, on this Monday morning, you could meet with us. Uh, that would be awesome. So it'll be 9 a.m. Central Time when we will be doing it. So I know you've got kids, and but hopefully you could be on with us. And let me just go back and see if anybody else had any questions. I'm just scrolling through. I don't know why, y'all. Facebook Live was just not working today. I tried it to tried to get it to work, and it was not, um, could not get it to go. So, I don't know if anybody else is on um, or has any questions. Hey, to my cousin, Pumpkin, how are you doing? Oh, <laughs> I'm really not far from you. I'm up at Lake Travis with my with my friend Ann for a while, so I know you're probably an hour away, maybe less. Um, yeah, okay. Oh, Tasha says, I'm down like four flat tires. I'll be on on June the 1st. Awesome. So um, anyway, y'all, this is like the membership. I don't really feel like God wants me to sell it. Like I want you to feel a wooing and like such a desire to want this and to be in community and a safe place to go to the next place in your small beginnings. Um, and it first starts with a thought. And so nobody's late for the party, like that God's told me that, like he is in charge of this and he wants to grow us and show us step by step for our own small beginnings that he will create through us. Um, and then we will then share it with others. Like it's not just to be in a small circle. Like he definitely wants to equip us to go out like so many of you are already doing. And that's so beautiful. Like his love is never going to end. Um, yeah. So we already have some resources in there. I think a really powerful one is um, Julie, a friend of mine that's in the group that she's from uh, near Fort Worth. She's already put this whole beautiful page of affirmations in. And we, um, you know, what I really believe is it's so important to speak out loud the truth about ourselves. And so um, these affirmations are beautiful. And um, one of the girls today wrote that she had read them out loud, you know, quietly to herself, like just sort of read them in her mind. And then she reread them, speaking them out loud. And it was huge difference. Like she was so excited about it with the difference of speaking outside. So, hey, Christine, you are on and you're in the inner circle. Um, hi, Donna French. I don't know you. Um, so, anyway, does anyone else have any questions about this? I will say it's also organic. Like, I am allowing Holy Spirit to lead this. Um, and I, it's a small beginning for me in the fact that God told me to do this. He had planted the seeds last year. Um, as I said at the beginning of the session, he had planted the seeds last year, like in August, that I would start uh, probably, um, that I would start in October. And then that, it was flat. I could tell it wasn't. And then it was in April of this year when I was doing the online Bible study for free on the Mondays and the Fridays, and God just was like, you need to keep going with these people. You have my divine supplies. Keep giving them out. And he confirmed that from Proverbs 31, verses 13 and 14. And so with obedience, I'm doing it. And God is showing up, y'all. <laughs> like, Holy Spirit is there, and there is so much love, and there is just... Like, it's just really cool. And so Kellen says, small beginnings for me has started in my journey as I co-create with God and learn to just be still with Holy Spirit. Yeah. So not performance, just hanging out with the process and trusting God. And it's a day by day thing. And so he's growing us and he's gonna, oh, you met, okay, okay. 
Awesome, Donna. Wow, so you were in Fredericksburg and I was painting there. So I still have my paintings in that store in Loca on Main. Um, but you know, I'm not over there painting yet. I likely will be at some point. Um, I'm just not quite ready, especially in my state of grief, but also just also to be on the street. So, uh, but that's so cool. I do remember your name. Um, and so thanks for jumping in on this call. Um, yes, thank you, Kellen, for writing that. Proverbs 31, verses 13 and 14, specifically in the Passion Translation is what spoke to me. And hey, Michelle, you're on. <laughs> um, so this is what it's about, y'all. And um, I just know God is wooing who he wants to bring in. And the doors close at midnight tomorrow night, and then I'll open them up at some point whenever I hear from God, but then the price will be 27 a month. And so this is for founding members at 17, and um, I'm really excited to offer it at that price, and just hearing from God, like, that's just perfect. So, um, yeah, any other questions y'all have? Um, I just wanted to come on live and see if there was anything else. Um, but what we know is God will give us more than we could dream or imagine, but he does want us to dream and he does want us to imagine. And so we're also journaling in there, um, just asking people to keep track of what God's telling them, uh, because then it's beautiful to go back and look and see what all he's done um, in our lives. So um, I see lots of thumbs up and hearts from Kellen. Thank you. Yeah. So, um, this is what I wanted to come on for. And if any of you have any questions, oh, they'll see how to connect to it. I will put in my, in this feed, y'all, I will put, um, the link for the inner circle. It's through a platform called Kajabi, but that's where you buy from, but everything is in, uh, in this inner circle private Facebook group. And that's where we're keeping our documents and everything. It's just easier. I've been in communities where we keep things in Kajabi and um, it's just been really hard for me to find the things and to remember the address and everything, meaning address on the internet. And so Facebook, we're already on it. And so I just, um, yeah, I'm just using Facebook. So, but it's a private one and you only get invited, you know, once you purchase. So, Anyway, blessings, y'all. I pray you have an amazing <clears throat> Saturday that, again, this time of rest and coming away and really praying for our country. I'm just praying this morning. I walked and prayed <clears throat> with my friend Ann for the snake's head to be cut off, for evil not to prevail, for Christ is victorious and he would release his angels to come and minister to those that are grieving and hurting and that the truth would come out and that we could be at peace and love each other like God wants us to. So I really feel so um, just been praying with a really heavy heart, um, but yet with a place of victory because of who Jesus says he is. And, um, and so really calling in victory in our country and really all over the world. <clears throat> so we can't live a day without him, y'all. It's a time to press into him. And he will use our creativity to bring his glory, to make his glory be known, to bring love, to bring <clears throat> his peace, to bring everything that is good. He created us in his image and he wants us to create for him. And it's not necessarily about the money. It's about letting him flow through us to bring his love and beauty and glory to others. So I love y'all. And uh, if you have any questions, you can always message me. So happy Saturday. <laughs>